Hi, I'm Deb from Mom of Three Girls and Just Casting On, and I'm here today to demonstrate a couple of casting on techniques for left-handed knitters. I knit left-handed when I first learned, and even now when I go to uh, learn new techniques, um, I found that most of the demonstration videos out there on YouTube or elsewhere are for right-handed knitters. And while I can um, kind of switch things around in my head and figure out how to make things work, I thought it would be helpful to create a few videos for new knitters out there who might be um, going, trying to learn who are left-handed. So the first thing I'm going to demonstrate, I've got a skein of worsted weight yarn here and my needles, and we're going to, I'm going to show a couple of uh, just basic casting on methods. There's all kinds of methods to cast on. Um, the two that I use the most are the long tail cast on and the knitted cast on. So those are the two that I'm going to show here. Okay, we're here to do a long tail cast on uh, left handed. And the first thing that you need to do for a long tail cast on is determine how long the tail of your yarn is going to be. Um, you're going to use this yarn to actually make the stitches. Um, what I gen One general rule is kind of loop it around for each stitch that you need to make. I've also heard you can estimate, you know, an inch or so per stitch. Um, what I try to do is just overestimate. I figure it's easier to trim off the tail after I've cast down my stitches than it is to try and have to pull everything out and start over again because my tail's not long enough. Um, so the first thing I do is, uh, once you figure out where you want to start, make your slip knot, slide that over your needle. Then I have the, um, the tail coming off the right side. So we're doing this left-handed. And then the other side is attached to my ball of yarn coming off the left side. So I go ahead and wrap those that yarn around my hand. That's the yarn I'm going to draw from here. On this side, I just kind of run it up through my fingers. First thing I do is bring around the thumb, bring the needle up through that loop, bring the other side around, and bring the loop over and pull tight. Let's go ahead and do that again. Through the thumb, through that loop, bring the other yarn around, and over and pull tight. So we'll do a couple more of them here. You want to try to pull it tight enough so that your stitches aren't, aren't falling off and sloppy, but you, you also want to try and leave it loose enough so that you're knitting your first row won't be so difficult trying to get the needle through. Um, you also want to try and make sure they're, they're pretty evenly sized here. Do a few more of them here. So this is the long tail cast on for a left-handed knitter, and that's your cast on. Okay, now another type of cast on that I've used um, a couple of times is the knitted cast on, and this is especially useful if you need to cast on in the middle of a row or at the end of a row while you're working on a piece of work. And the way you do that is, let's say I'm, I'm knitting, I've been knitting uh, my row, this is the end of my row, or I've turned my work and this is the beginning of my row. In either case, um, I would go ahead and go to knit that first stitch, just like I would normally, but instead of slipping the yarn off the right-hand needle and having my new stitch on the left needle, what I'm going to do is instead slide the stitch over onto the right-hand needle. And so I've now added one new stitch, cast it on. So let's try that again. We're going to go up through, knit just like we normally would, bring the stitch over. Instead of sliding this off and pulling it tight, we're going to go down through that stitch and bring it over onto the right hand needle. So do a couple more of them here so you can get a good sense of what that's like. Bring it here, over and through. Do another one. There, and so now I've added oops, four new stitches to my row and I'm ready to keep going on my piece of work. That is the knitted cast on.